Hi, this is Mike Peterson from Challenge Island, Oakland County East, back with another one of our Steamtastic Fridays. So in this series, we've been talking a little bit about winter, since that's the season we're in, at least here in the United States. So today is our E week, which is when we talk about engineering. So today we want to talk a little bit about the engineering that goes into removing snow. So I know not the whole country has to worry about removing snow, but that's a big issue for a lot of parts of the world. And some of the lessons from removing snow can actually be used to other kinds of engineering as well. So to start out, let's take a look at some big examples of how snow gets removed and what engineers have come up with to do that. And then we'll move on and talk about how you can remove snow at your house if you ever get any during this winter. All right, so we'll take a look at a few pictures here. The first picture we're showing is an example of someone using a snow blower. So from an engineering perspective, that's kind of a combination of a snow shovel and a big screw and an engine all thrown together. So, so that, that's how that got designed. So basically what it does is it scoops up the snow and then throws it out the top of the snow blower and gets it off the driveway of the road or wherever it needs to get to get out of the way. The next picture we have is the bigger, the next level up. So sometimes you'll see snow plows that are attached to the front of trucks. So and that's a way to get snow removed in the winter. So, so a lot of people put them on their truck. It's like a big, basically a big snow shovel just attached onto the car so you can push a lot more that way. All right, the next one we'll show you here is a super big snow plow. So if you look close at this picture, we're seeing a snow plow that's so big, it can basically clear the snow off of a whole highway at one time. So the first part is kind of the big truck that we looked at earlier. But if you look at that second part in the back and to the left is a whole other snow plow that they can adjust and move it off to the side to get that second lane all at the same time. So the engineers had to put a little more uh, uh, machinery into that to make that work, but it goes a lot quicker to remove a lot more snow. Now, when it comes to cleaning train tracks, that's an even bigger challenge. So, so what they'll do with those is they'll take a big snow plow and the engineers will attach it onto the front of the train and then just drive through the snow. So here's an example where you can see a snow plow on a train removing that snow and just shoving it to the sides to get it off the track. And in our last example here is kind of back to what we talked about with snow blowers. You can actually build a snow blower that's big enough to go on a train. So this one where you see that big red blade, that's a place where the when the snow hits that, it, sh it throws it around and then throws it away off to the side of the track and helps to get the, the snow out of the way. So, so basically when it comes to engineering of snow removal, it's basically combinations of snow blowers and snow plows and snow shovels in some way or another. So those are the key tools that engineers use when they design that technology. So back to the, the snow shovel for a little bit, just to give you some tips. So if you're trying to think, okay, I've got some snow coming, what should I suggest to mom and dad for what kind of snow shovel they might wanna use? Here's a couple things to think about. So one, one criteria or one thing to think about that's really important is making sure it's not too heavy. So this is an example of a pretty light snow shovel. And here you can see it's basically just an aluminum blade. So not very heavy. The hard part with this one is it's got metal on the top. So, so when we scrape the driveway with this, then it, it ends up getting caught on the driveway sometimes. Or if there's like a crack or someplace where it you know, can get stuck, that can be a problem. So that's kind of the trade-off on this one. Nice and light, but could get stuck somewhere. So something to think about. All right, for our second snow shovel, here's another one. So there's some other engineered techniques into this one. So you can see with this one, this one's all made out of plastic, so it's not too heavy, pretty good that way. This one doesn't have metal on the top, so that makes it a little easier when you're pushing down the driveway to make sure that it doesn't get stuck so easy. Another feature on this one, if you look at the side of it, it's kind of got a big snow plow on the side there. So if you have to remove a lot of snow, this will be a good feature to add onto there. So, so you can engineer that in there. So, so this one works pretty good for, for those situations. So if you have a lot of snow, and if you're strong enough to remove all that snow, this might be a good way to go too. The other one we've got is kind of a combination of those things. So, so one challenge in engineering is sometimes to figure out, okay, how can we take the best of several different ideas and combine them together to make something work? So here on our last example, we've got our plastic one. 
Uh, not quite as big of a plow on the side, so this one's better for a little less snow. But if we're trying to get our driveway really nice and clean and so all the snow's gone, we've got that metal on the top of it. So if we have a smooth area we're working on, then we can take advantage of that. So when engineers design snow plows, snow shovels, any of those kinds of things, it's a combination of thinking through, okay, what are some different ways to do that? And how can I combine those things in different ways to really get exactly what I want to need to do to have happen? All right, so, so next time you need to, to shovel some snow or go buy a snow plow or a snow shovel, those might be some things to think about. So you can suggest those to mom and dad. And I hope you have good luck removing your snow this winter if you're in a place that you're gonna do that. All right, with that, thank you for joining us and I look forward to seeing you again next week.